So one of the things that came up time and time again on our podcast was the difference between textual evidences and using the aql, the intellect. And a questioner has asked, to what extent are we allowed to use aql in the religion? Are we allowed to use the intellect in the religion? First of all, we have to understand the aql according to Ahl sunnah wal Jama'ah has a very high station. And we, in Ahl, inshallah ta'ala, may Allah make us from Ahl sunnah mm-hmm. We believe, inshallah ta'ala, that the aql has a manzila rafi'a, a high level. For example, if you look at the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when he speaks about who is يعني, commanded to do acts of, leg- acts of worship, who's يعني, manutun bit taklif, يعني, who do we say you have to fast, you have to pray, hmm. يعني, or you have to go hajj, is a person who has يعني, aql, right? Hmm. Sanity. Yeah. Had the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith, Rufi al qalam an thalathi, the, the pen has been lifted from three. And in Naim hatta yastiqi, the one who's sleeping until he wakes up. Wa an is sabi hatta yahtarim, and the one who is, you know, the child uh, who hasn't reached age of puberty. And last but not least, wa an il majnuni hatta yaqil, and the one who is insane until he gains sanity. So you can see it's given an importance to yeah. it. That's that the, the shara is has made manatu taklif upon the aql. Also, uh, the Quran and the Sunnah, when you look at it, it urges us to think and ponder and analyze and, you know, critique. We're, we're being told to do all of that. If you look at the concept of tadabbur and tafakkur and tadakkur, all of those are referring to people to use their aql. Mm-hmm. Also, Allah wa ta'ala, He praised the people who have, you know, great minds. Allah praised them. وَمَا يَذَّكَّرُوا إِلَّا أُولُوا الْأَلْبَابِ أُولُوا الْأَلْبَابِ Means the smart people, the clever people, the ones who use their brain. They're the ones who are going to take reminders from all of this. Allah praise them. Also, Allah wa ta'ala, He spoke against those people who dismiss using their aql in its right place. Allah says, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ اتَّبِعُوا مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ قَالُوا بَلْ نَتَّبِعُوا مَا أَلْفَيْنَا عَلَيْهِ آبَاءَنَا أَوَ لَوْ كَانَ آبَاءُهُمْ لَا يَعْقِلُونَ شَيْئًا وَلَا يَهْتَدُونَ ومثل الذين كفروا كمثل الذي ينعق بما لا يسمع إلا دعاء ونداء صم بكم العمي فهم لا يعقلون. So Allah wa ta'ala spoke about the people who basically, uh, when they are told to follow this, the, 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 the dalil and they're told to follow the proofs and the evidences, their response is, قَالُوا بَلْ نَتَّبِعُ مَا أَلْفَيْنَا عَلَيْهِ أَبَانَا We will follow that which we found from our forefathers. And Allah wa ta'ala, He says, أَوَلَوْ كَانَ آبَاءُمْ لَا يَعْقِلُونَ شَيْءٍ What about if your fathers are not? Yeah. They're said, telling you things that are insane. Are you going to still follow them? Are you going to do it? Also then Allah wa ta'ala, He speaks about the people who basically call unto the dead, who can't hear them, who can't speak to them, and they just call unto them. And then Allah wa ta'ala, he said, Summun, bukmun, umyun, fahum la yaqilun. So this shows you that the importance that the aql has. Also, Allah wa ta'ala, he mentions that Yawmul Qiyamah, the people who are going to regret it, are the people that didn't use their aql. Wa qalu law kunna nasma'u aw na'aqilu ma kunna fi ashabi sa'ir. Fa'atarafu bidambihim fasuhqa li ashabi sa'ir. So we kind of touched on this issue of aql and yani in the, 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 the aql and the text. We made a whole entire podcast. Uh, on this particular issue yeah, it, yeah. We spoke about it in great details But what we, what I do want the, Inshallah ta'ala people to listen Is that The concept of aql There has to be a middle path That we take regarding it Bain al ghului wal jafa We don't go extreme in exaggeration And we don't go extreme in negligence Regarding the aql Yani we have two groups mm-hmm. One group of people Who've given the aql Unrestricted boundaries <clears throat> Do what you want Question everything Critique everything, analyze everything, and think that the aql hasn't got boundaries, hasn't got limitations. Those people have gone extreme in the concept of the aql. And we have another group of people who يعني, dismiss the usage of the aql and uh, don't care about the aql, and they're the Sufiya, and those who are on their path. They don't care about the aql and they tell you things that are absurd and يعني, an illogical absurdity You're like Are you sure Are you sane Like mm-hmm. uh, people, Some people are like that mm. And another group of people Like the Mu'tazila And those who take their path The aql is the source And it's the evidence And the proof And we need to be in the middle When it comes to that We don't go extreme like these people And we don't go extreme in this one How can we يعني, Be in that middle path What we have to understand Is the aql it has a great station in our religion. I already mentioned that. Mm-hmm. And I gave some evidences for it. But Allah did say in the Quran, وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا yeah. Allah created the human beings weak. In other words, the brain is part of those weak parts of your body. Correct. Just like you can see, and mashallah, your eyes are good, and 10, 10 out of 10, your sight is good, you can drive, mashallah. But your eyesight is restricted. Yeah. The brain is a part of you that's also restricted. Mm-hmm. And there are things that the aql cannot really speak about. 
For example, you have to understand your aql has la, la dakhala lahu fil ghaybiyat. You can't speak about the unseen. Because the aql really speaks about that which it it has seen. Yeah. Aql compares. If I asked you right now, draw for me an animal that does not resemble any animal on the face of this earth. I won't be able to do it. You wouldn't be able to. You're going to yeah. make the wing, it's a bird's wing. You're yeah. going to take the 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 uh, the uh, the whiskers from a cat. Yeah, and you're going to take Yeah. Characteristics mm-hmm. from animals you've seen. You can't bring something to the table you haven't seen. So the aql cannot really speak about the unseen. Mm-hmm. Its brain is it's not like that. Second thing is la yastaqillu bil hidayah. The aql independently cannot know the detailed matters of guidance. That's why Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala he uh, said in the Quran wa laqad makkannahum fi wa laqad makkannahum fi ma in makkannahum fi wa ja'alna lahum sam'an wa absaran wa af'idah fama aghna anhum sam'uhum wa la absarun wa la af'idatuhum min shay' id kanu yadhaluna bi ayati Allah wa haqqa bihi ma kanu bihi yastanzi'un wa sallallahu tabarak wa ta'ala he mentions in the Quran and the guidance in the hands of Allah Allah is guides Allah says wa inihta wa inihtadaytu fa bima yuhi ilayya rabbi if I become guided It's the revelation that came to me from my Lord Also Allah says in another ayah The third thing that aql cannot really speak about So you just give a translation of that verse Allah says Like that Muhammad we have sent the revelation down on you وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمننا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان you didn't know this none of this ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان you didn't know that these the detailed issues of iman yeah. you didn't know the details issues of the religion you didn't but Allah تبارك وتعالى gave it to you beautiful so this shows you that the guidance is in whose hands Allah تبارك وتعالى the aql can bring you to the general concept of guidance but it can't bring you to the detailed matters of guidance last but not least the aql cannot speak about يعني أو العقل لا يستقيل بالفصل بين الناس فيما تنازعوا فيه. If two people are arguing on a matter, okay, and a third person comes, let's say these two people are very smart people, they have okay. a conflict. Okay. If a third person comes who's smart as well, hmm. can he distinguish between the two of them? No. He just becomes a third problem. Yeah, just another insight to add to the original two, uh, original two. ولذلك ابن القيم رحمه الله in his lines of poetry he says. رحمه الله تعالى لا يستقل العقل دون هداية بالوحي تأصيلا ولا تفصيلا كالطرف دون النور ليس بمدرك حتى تراه بكرة وأصيلا وإذا النبوة وإذا النبوة لم ينلك ضياؤها فالعقل لا يهديك قط السبيلا نور النبوة مثل نور الشمس للعين البصيرة فاتخذه دليلا طرق الهدى مزدودة إلا على من أم هذا الوحي والتنزيل فإذا عدلت عن الطريق تعمدا فاعلم بأنك ما أردت وصولا يا طالبا درك الهدى بالعقل دون النقل لن تلقى لذاك دليلا so the person has to understand that the aql is like the eyesight it's like uh, other parts of your body yeah. It has restrictions and limitations And that's when you say I believe Allah and his messenger What they say hasn't got those limitations Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Speaks about the unseen As much as he can see, speak about that Which is, is seen to us Subhanahu wa ta'ala Because we have the pixel And Allah has the He has the whole jigsaw